Hello everyone. So I wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about Bitcoin and if you were someone that maybe didn't have the Bitcoin position that you would have liked to at the time you would have liked to and maybe you're feeling a little bit left out. Um, I want to shed some light on some things you can do. There's still opportunity. So I'm going to just, it, here's the biggest one is the 100 day moving average. Whenever Bitcoin since January, we can say, approaches the 100 day moving average, it never bounces off, it always busts through. So here we are approaching the 100 day moving average and no it's not necessarily a guarantee but we can say it is a likely certainty that we'll at least break through into the $8,000 territory. Now don't let your greed blur your vision because entering now at 7300 and exiting at 8000 is quite the gain. That's a $700 difference. That's almost a 10% uh, swing, 9.5%. So I am going to enter a long position, and I am certainly going to set a sell mark at 8000 Now, to those who have been around you know have followed me why we we said the head and shoulders I showed you how I was telling everyone we we're, we're going long we knew it was coming we saw it coming and when you have a chart like this sometimes you do have to show that you're not just doing this for entertainment purposes um, I'll tell you what I'm kind of excited about is the range that I put these X's on. We put these X's up here on this line about a month ago. And I sort of want to move. Okay, this is the 21st. I kind of want to move this over a little bit. In fact, forgive me. I want to move this over to the 23rd. This X, this range. The last and really only... I guess you could say prediction that I mainly missed was this one right here. And that was about a month in advance in a prediction. This one was one of my favorites. This X marks we put, you know, way back when. This orange one was killer too. We just boop, 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 hit that line. And uh, I missed with this, right? So it happens. Everything else, you know, we're pretty much on point. Uh, so if you feel like you missed out, you can enter in a position at your own risk but if history repeats itself in this trend um, you should be okay right let me bump this up a little bit now I'll tell you what's interesting I'll tell you what's interesting I'll tell you what's interesting we are in a nice little wedge and we are at the point where we could certainly break this wedge and then it's a whole new ball game right so if we break this wedge, if we bust past this 8,100, 8, 8,000 mark and we enter into this territory, um, it, all, all trades are off. And we kind of have to keep an eye on what happens next. But this is a golden, golden, golden opportunity. This is a um, heavy fire in fact, I'm going to transfer some Bitcoin right now into BitMEX and I'm going to enter in a nice long position, even though that's probably the herd. In fact, let's go ahead and see what the herd is doing currently. The herd's got to be long. All right, let's take it on the four hour, on the 12 hour. Not overly so much. It's a little balanced. So it'd be nice to, to definitely hit with it within these marks. I'd be very, um, very proud of myself. Now, 
This also, there, there's, um, I do not believe this was Chinese. In fact, that's even, we even have more confirmation when the Chinese Mini Chong failed to break out, which, you know, we kind of expected because we just had one. And the reason why I say this is because only Bitcoin pumped. When it's Chinese, all of the coins pump. If it's not Chinese, this is almost like a BCH gang and friends type of a pump. Um, I don't think it was the BCH gang, but this was not Chinese, folks. It was not Chinese. I would say we really have to keep an eye out for the Chinese once we enter into a new trend. So if we break, then we, then then you know keep an eye for the Chinese. You're talking about short term, mid term game. There's so much I want to cover. Um, I want I'm, I, I want to do a how to buy arbitraging video correctly, like on the exchange. We did a how to sell. I want to do a how to buy. How to enter? If you're a whale, if you are, you know, a minnow, whale to a minnow. So we're keeping it basic, keeping it basic. This is all you need to know. This one indicator. This one indicator is all I need to know. And so I'm gonna go transfer. And I'm gonna make a big, I'm gonna make a long position on Bitcoin again. <laughs> 